Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Cobra Invasion Trooper figure that was produced by Hasbro as a part of the G.I. Joe Retaliation line of products. This was part of the Cobra Invasion Team 3 pack, and that pack also included a Storm Shadow figure as well as a Firefly figure. And I picked up the set at Target for $19.99. Okay, so when I first got the figure out of the box, I liked its overall appearance. One thing, though, uh, I did find myself wishing that this figure had been released on a single card for the Retaliation product line, as opposed to being just included with the Cobra Invasion 3-pack. As, uh, I'll be honest with you, I think this looks like a good figure to do some army building with. Uh, paint apps on the figure were nicely done, and I found no appreciable errors to speak of. The articulation joints on this figure all moved well. Uh, I had no problem in moving the head, shoulders, elbows, wrists, waist, hips, knees, or ankles. So let me pause here, zoom in, and I'll give you a closer look as to what the Cobra Invasion Trooper looks like. Alright, the Cobra Invasion Trooper comes with several accessories, so let me pan down real quick and I'll show you what they are. The figure stand that you see him standing on was not included in the package and was purchased by me separately. Alright, first up, here are his guns. Uh, going from left to right, I believe this is an HK MP5, a taser gun, and finally an HK M416 assault rifle. Next up, here are uh, some other accessories, and unfortunately this parachute, as you can see, is not going to really fit in the frame very well, so what I'm going to do is a little pan from left to right and give you a closer look at what these uh, items look like. Okay, so first up, here is his combat harness, the parachute, the harness for the parachute, and then finally, this little item that you see is a walkie-talkie. Now, I believe the parachute and the uh, harness uh, were carried over from the single-carded uh, Cobra Trooper uh, from this G.I. Joe Retaliation line. Uh, and the parachute still has the Cobra logo on it, as you can see. I also thought that uh, it was a nice touch to uh, see the word Cobra on the back of this uh, combat harness, as you can see. It's pretty cool. And also of note, uh, the parachute is made of cloth, as you can see, and is not made of uh, a plastic-like material. And finally, here are the, uh, the rest of the accessories. Uh, once again, going from left to right, we have a helmet, a pair of goggles, and what I believe is a gas mask. So as you can see, uh, this trooper, he comes with a lot of uh, interesting accessories. All right, back to the figure itself. What I'll do now is a quick 360 of the uh, Cobra Invasion Trooper, and let's see what he looks like from all sides. Okay. So overall, um. I don't think this figure is too bad. Uh, it's got some great uh, options for display purposes uh, using this multitude of accessories. And, I, and I'll be honest, I think it makes for a really great army builder. Uh, but unfortunately, I do find myself wishing that Hasbro would resume including figure stands for these G.I. Joe figures and, and that they had made this trooper available as a single carded figure as opposed to limiting it uh, to the Cobra Invasion 3-pack. But even so, um, I think this figure deserves a great recommendation. Uh, if you're presented with the opportunity to get this figure by itself uh, through a trade or maybe off of eBay, um, I, I think it'll make a great addition for your uh, Cobra Army. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.